Hi, my name is Lois Brown. I'm the Executive PA to the GB Marketing Director here at Britvic. When I joined Britvic, there wasn't many people at all that looked like me and I needed to be able to find other people that also feel in this pressure that they don't fit in. When everyone will be talking about how their weekend was, I'd find it difficult to share. My weekend wasn't that good because for the umpteenth time, my husband got stopped and searched just because he wore a hoodie to pick up our youngest. It was creating an environment where people can come together to better understand our culture and really bring their true self to work, regardless of their sexual orientation, of their ethnicity. We're also growing our community, so people that aren't necessarily part of that community, they can learn more, and in turn, that helps to create better products, to market better, to understand the customers that we serve. I look at someone like my grand, she's from the Windrush generation. Back then, Jamaica was part of the Commonwealth. They were invited to help um, rebuild the country after the war. And when my grand came over, she was shocked because it wasn't the welcome party that she expected. And you know, she was faced with signs that said, no dogs, no blacks, and no Irish. And many of them started working in the London Underground and my grand worked as a nurse. And they just did the jobs that you know people in this country didn't want to do, but there was a ceiling. So they would always be a nurse, but they could never be a ward sister or run a department. And I love the fact that Britvic is looking at where we can find positions in leadership for people of colour. Being first generation born and raised in England, I've burst that ceiling. And I'm working for a company that encouraging diversity within leadership. And this is why in October 2021, Simon Livellan, the CEO of Britvic, actually signed to the CBI Change the Race Ratio, dedicated to finding people of colour within leadership. So I'm uh, the chairperson of the Be Proud Network. Uh, I'm also uh, on the steer code for the BC Network, which re represents diverse abilities. Uh, and I also am part of the Be Diverse Network as well. We actually engage one-on-one -on -one with employees, some of which may be going through difficult times. And so we're there to support them uh, on a one-to-one -one basis and to do that in confidence. We have done a huge amount over the past six to seven years. An enormous amount of activity and arguably changed the culture within the business. What's really interesting in DNI is going to be what the next stage is going to be. How do we elevate what we've already done and take this business even further into ensuring it's inclusive and delivering really good results as a result of ensuring that everyone turns up to work being their true self, which we know delivers better results. So I'm Asha, um, I work in the shop and marketing team here at Britvic and I've been here almost three years. Britvic has made massive strides. I think it's really important that organisations like Britvic really put diversity at the head of what they do. Um, I'm a mum, I've got two young black boys at home and it's really important for me that one day they grow up and they can work in a company like this and really feel that like they belong. I'm always looking at other ways that we can lead in the, in the diversity area in terms of what we do and what we stand for. It was amazing to see so many more people like me um, and I had so many people come up to me and say you've done an amazing job in the network and being able to really shed some light on some of the cultures and traditions and things that they, they celebrate at home with their families and they were really really proud of that so it's great to see we're moving in the right direction and how can we keep pushing that and make sure that we get more and more diverse talent into the business and make sure that everyone feels that they belong here. I was born and bred in northwest London, a very diverse community. I went to a school that was very diverse. When I entered my professional environment for the first time, I found the diversity to be very sparse. It made me feel like I couldn't apply for those senior positions, open up about my culture uh, to my colleagues. And so I feel that Britvic, having these networks in place, gives me that opportunity to share my culture and it gives me the empowerment to achieve those more senior roles. People of colour are often paid less than our white counterparts. Britvic is leading the pack in reporting on pay gap reporting, not because anyone else is doing it or because it's a mandatory thing to do, but it's because it's the right thing to do. We have done huge amounts of work. We've celebrated Black History Month and Ramadan and Eid and Hanukkah and Chinese New Year. I've learned 
huge amounts of different cultures. We've also partnered up with HR on talent acquisition and we've ensured that they produce diverse shortlists whenever they're recruiting. We've also made it completely mandatory for everybody to complete unconscious bias training. And that's not just about cultures, religions or race, but it actually speaks to all the other network groups from unconscious bias against the LGBT community or for the Be Empowered group for women or the Be Seen Disability group. We are signing up to BRIM, which is Black Representation in Marketing, to ensure that as we are marketing the ambassadors that we use, adverts that we choose, agencies that we work with also have the right ratio within their workforce as well, so that we are all rounded a better business.